yesterday when I was like hanging out with my wife, like I, I was on Twitter and or, or X, Twitter X, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And I was um, uh, scrolling through and then I saw a yellow flash put rip Akira Toriyama. I was like, no freaking way that's real. And <clears throat> per usual, I immediately put tr uh, go into um, search and then, of course, trending as Akira Toriyama. And I, 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 I was fearing the worst. And uh, yeah, it's um, it was true. Uh, Akira Toriyama passed away. Uh, he didn't pass away yesterday. He passed away on March 1st. So uh, yeah, he passed away a couple like, like a week ago. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, pretty sad man. So I, I do want to read this article here it comes just from uh, what's it called again? The New York Times of all places. Uh, right over here, chat room. Sakura Toriyama, creator of Dragon Ball, dies at 68. Damn, that's so young. That's only like three years older than my dad. Man, but uh, his popular manga inspired numerous television, film, and video game adaptations, reaching fans far beyond Japan's borders. And that's absolutely correct. Um, I had no idea of this, but like, I guess people in Mexico, people in South America, they love, they freaking love Dragon Ball. Especially Dragon Ball Z, but holy crap, it's because I believe that's amongst like Channel 5 or something like that. So it was the first uh, introduction to manga in general, like manga, anime, anything like Japanese like related stuff. Uh, I forgot when they got introduced, but I, I was introduced a little bit earlier. But let's go ahead and read this sort of here. Akira Toriyama, one of the Japan's leading comic book authors whose manga and anime franchise Dragon Ball achieved worldwide success with its mix of comedic characters and rousing martial arts battles died on March 1st. He was 68. His death, his death was confirmed on Friday in a statement by his manga and design production company, which is, um, what's it called again? Um, Japan on Friday. That means um, us Thursday night. Uh, Bird Studio and Capsule Corporation Tokyo. The statement said that the cause was acute subdural hematoma. And I believe this is... Um, What's it called again? And uh, let me double check. And so I'm not being a stupid asshole. Um, subdural hematoma. First, like one of the first thing that comes up. <clears throat> WebMD. Uh, what is it? So basically it is a subdural hematoma is a collection of blood outside of the brain. It is usually caused by serious head injuries. The bleeding and adding uh, and added pressure on the brain from his, this condition can be life threatening. While some may stop on their own and suddenly go away, some others uh, need surgical drainage. Yeah, so I believe uh, you can. Uh, so he has acute. So that means it could be like from a bump, like he hit his head or something like that. So uh, I'm not sure if, if, if that's the case. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. I mean, a condition in which blood collects between the skull and the brain. He did not say where Mr. Toriyama died. Mr. Toriyama's body of Body of work, which also includes Dr. Slump and Sandland, is recognizable far beyond Japan's borders. Having influenced generations of manga artists and cartoonists, the studio said that he had several projects in the works at his death. Yeah, I believe he's working on several video games and Dragon Ball Diamond is supposed to be coming out. So, and it hit me pretty hard. I didn't know. It hit me pretty hard because, um, uh, uh, Akira Toriyama and especially Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball, especially Dragon Ball Z was the reason why I became an artist, which to begin with, like a lot of people was like, no, I thought that the original reason you became an artist was uh, Animaniacs. Animaniacs was the reason why I wanted to become an animator, but to draw in general and to, the, the love of drawing was because of uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, which is, um, it's really sad. <clears throat> it was really sad. He was so young, uh, extremely inspirational. And I I love this work. My my first introduction to Dragon Ball was actually uh, what's it called again? Um, Chinese videotapes. So it was of course uh, pirated. When I would uh, so here's the thing. Uh, my family has a bakery in Chinatown, and I would uh, from time to time venture out into the, the videotape collections where they like they would go rent and buy tapes, and they would have actual like cartoon tapes. And these aren't uh, episodes. These are um the ones they they do have episodes, but they had more of the movies. So um, I got a Cantonese version of uh, my first one was, I believe it was, uh, what's it called again? It might have been Cooler, uh, Cooler's uh, first uh, showing uh, the movie, and then Cooler's Return, and of course uh, Broly, 
and then bro and then uh the return of uh bro league which is the which is the family kamehameha and then my brother he had um a uh, bojack uh the bojack uh one which is after cell saga which is uh in, ter in terms of uh, uh chronological and it's um i had the tree of might like i had all of them man i had all the movies and um i would like try to like draw them you know i had like um he, me and my me and my cousins we would go to um uh these uh chinese stores and we call them seam cut so it, it, it's it's a basically a slang way of saying shimmery cards and what it is is these um, dragon ball cards that are stickers and um some of them are actual cards some of them are stickers and it has like the power level on them and stuff like that like i was i was in love man my, my cousin introduced it to me because he was watching it he was watching a uh, super android 13 i believe i believe that's a movie and um i really loved it man like um like what what major thing that i enjoyed about dragon ball z was the um, the determination to not fail and to persevere and to um to never give up and hard work trumps everything else it doesn't matter if you're if you are born a saiyan or not if you are born a uh, low class saiyan high class saiyan right it doesn't really matter all that matters is hard work uh ingenuity perseverance and uh and will your shield your sheer will to not give up and that's dragon ball in a nutshell right um and then there's family and um it's uh yeah it's uh it, it, it this sucks his best well-known uh, work as Dragon Ball follows a young boy named Son Goku and embarks on a journey to collect seven magical orbs that summon a wishing granting dragon. Since its creation in the 1980s, it has spanned 42 volumes, sold millions of copies worldwide, and become one of the most famous manga-inspiring television films and video games of all time. And in my opinion, I added that one of all time. Like, I had some of these mangas. I had the Chinese mangas. They're, like, super small. They're, like, this big. And look, look how big it, like... This is an Macy's fucking Thanksgiving Day Parade, man. Like, that's how... That's insane, dude. Like, holy crap. Man, if it wasn't for Akira Toriyama, there, there, there wouldn't have been, like, all of these other other stuff. Like, there's... It's inspired uh, so many other creatives to make stuff, like uh, Oda and uh, Kishimoto. It's um uh, amongst a couple of them. Akira Toriyama was born April 5th. Wow, he was only born... Same month, same week that I was born, but years later. He's he's I was born on April second. He's born on April fifth in uh, Kyosu, Japan, according to local news media. He studied design and technology and engineering. Man, that that makes so much sense. Why his cars? Oh man, uh, Akira Toriyama, as as good as he is, whether you like this art or not, it was like, extremely influential. His character designs are pretty damn good, but his his car mechanical like engineering designs for cars are second to none his car designs are so good it's amazing i, I love his car designs i actually had i bought an eight my, my, my mom bought me an 80 dollar um book with just all of akira, akira toriyama's drawings and but most of it is dragon ball uh, and dragon ball z related man i all it was all drawings and oh, this so, i'm so sad dude I'm so sad. He left his job after a few years and started drawing manga at 23. His first manga and action adventure comic called Wonder Island was published in 1978. He gained popularity in the serialization of Dr. Slump from 1980 to 1984, a science fiction manga about an android girl known as a ch uh, with her childlike personality and superhuman strength. Yeah, and she actually shows up in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball from time to time. And it's always like in his other work, which is really cool. It was adapted for television series and anime. Uh, and anime sorry yeah television anime series toriyama's absurd concepts sense of caricature sparked a real joyful hysteria in japan uh matthew pinon and laurent uh Lefe lefebrev wrote <laughs> the history of modern manga in 2023 uh, 82 toriyama married former manga artist who published under the pen name nachi uh nachi makimi uh, mikami sorry uh, complete information of, of survivors was not immediately available, but the local news reports that he survived by his, his wife and children. Yeah, so um, his son, I believe his name is Sasuke, um, is actually, a, if you guys didn't know, he's actually a um, 
uh, an Easter egg where uh, when he worked on Chrono Trigger, if you, if you're able to get this, because the Chrono Trigger had like a several endings, have like numerous endings, and if you get the specific ending, it actually shows a Toriyama in like pixel form talking to his kids. He's like Sasuke, and I forgot the daughter's name. It's like Naiki or something like that. Naiki. He's like, look, I'm in a mid- I made a video game. Isn't this cool? Like that's also pretty damn awesome. But uh, Dragon Ball was serialized in Japan, uh, Japan, a uh, Japanese uh, ma- uh, magazine. Weekly Shonen Jump until 1995. Man, so basically, when I was born in 88, he already started doing Z, which is crazy. Right? And all the animation and, oh man, all of that was done before the mid-90s. All of that was done. And then, um, um, Dragon Ball Z came over uh, and it played on Toonami on Cartoon Network. And that's where I watched it every day after, uh, after school. I will come home turn on uh turn on cartoon network and watch it and um i will watch um uh started from raditz and then saiyan saga frieza and then cell man oh geez yeah uh after let's see um after dragon ball mr toriyama wrote a single volume manga inc- including kawa uh kajika and Jocko, the Galactic uh, Galactic Patrolman, Sandland, published in 2000, was made into a movie in 2023. Its anime version is scheduled to be released in spring in Disney Plus along with a video game. Yeah, and we have Dragon Ball Daima coming out too. He made, he made Dragon Quest, uh, Chrono Trigger, man. Jeez, like, oh, I'm so sad, dude. Like, I was talking to my brother about it. And, like, uh, like I would go and, like, watch shorts of, like, uh... You know, um, like tribute videos and stuff like that on on Twitter X. It's a uh, man, such an influ- influential man. Like I like I wore my um my red ribbon Android uh Android T shirt for the stream is to um because this is the only Dragon Ball shirt I have that's like that still fits me and that's uh, that's nice. I do have my pink Vegeta shirt though. However, and it's funny is because um. My son's first birthday was Dragon Ball themed. Like, we bought like a bunch of like um like stickers and little like plushies and stuff like that. Um, we we bought Dragon like Dragon Balls like little little Dragon Balls and gave them out as party pl- uh, party flav- uh, flavors party favors. Uh, I bought I personally bought um, what's it called again all green jelly beans and basically sent them sold them off as sensu beans and um. Yeah, like I went as Vegeta, my, my wife went went as Bulma, and my son was a uh, was Trunks, uh, baby Trunks, like kid, like actual baby Trunks. <sighs> Man, um, yeah, it's um, yeah, he uh, Akira Toriyama was an inspiration to a lot of people, not just myself, but it's it's worldwide, you know, and um, one of the best Square games is Chrono Trigger, in my opinion. Like, uh, like my favorite's Final FF6, but Chrono Trigger is like right there. It's like literally the second best in my opinion. And um, the music is really good. And um, he'll be missed. I'm pretty sure right now, uh, Akira Toriyama probably passed um, King Yama's desk, his mahogany desk. And uh, he's probably checked in. Checked in with, uh, with Kami. And was given approval to go uh, run down Snake Way and uh, train with King Kai. That's what that, and we'll see him in other world for sure. Man, it's gonna it's gonna be different. Watching Dragon Ball Daima is gonna be super super sad and happy at the same time now. Like, man, he's gonna be missed. He's got, yes, sir. Mahogany. Yeah. 